Welcome guys, welcome to a very quick review today of a gimbal that I've got to return in a few hours, hence why this is one, of, again, my reviews are usually pretty quick and straight to the point, so this is going to be more along those lines. Uh, if you want more in-depth reviews, there's quite a few out there on this gimbal. Uh, I generally go straight to the negativities because we buy these products for certain reasons and uh, if they don't perform that test properly, then it's important that I tell you. Uh, I do find a lot of reviewers don't go so far into uh, the disadvantages of products. Yeah, generally it's a sales pitch, or they're trying to tell you how good a product is, if it works for their particular needs, uh, but this one doesn't work for my particular needs. Uh, and we're gonna go through why. So if, you, if I look really scruffy or whatever, uh, just know that uh, I've decided to make this review five minutes ago because this product's got to go back in a few hours. Uh, so let's go straight away. So this is the Manfrotto MVG300XM. Uh, reason for the review is I've been looking for something to put on my crane or camera jib. Uh, so it's going to be hanging upside down. And this literally ticks every box. Well, so we thought. Uh, so perfectly it's got a handle now you'll probably not see this from the other reviews but when you look at the handle you'll know that it basically is instantly linked to the head uh, there's a battery inside uh, the gimbal pa part itself and there's a battery in the handle so there's no need for extra v locks or whatever at the mo at the current moment i'm using a ronin m so I, it does have a battery on it uh, but what i don't like about the ronin m is the horrible remote controller uh, so my upgrade is going to be either this or the Ronin RS2 and more on the RS2 a bit later uh, as that thing is still punching really well so everything about this is extremely good up until you get to the point of using it so mounting it excellent balancing it all the rest of that it feels a bit cheap uh, compared to what you're looking at the Ronin but it does work once it's balanced because it's going to be used solely for a jib it doesn't matter so much uh, that those bits feel cheap because i'm never going to change the settings uh, and i wanted to keep it separate you know i just want something separate from my jib so this handle is excellent it does control the uh, gimbal so if i pan right left you should be able to see the gimbal moving this is a very basic setup. I wasn't going to unpack my jib for this uh, five minute review. So excellent. You'd say it's all hanging. It's got four USB ports. Two of them, well, only one of them has an indication of a ca camera on it. So I'm guessing that's what you connect to your camera. The other three USB ports don't tell you what they are. And if you look in the manual, they don't tell you what they are. So what what are we doing man for are we guessing what these ports are for so that is absolutely pathetic anyway you're releasing a product with extra usb ports you're not telling us what they're for but anyway oh my legs are hurting doing this uh so anyway moving on i've plugged everything into the usb ports all i can think of is currently they all give power i don't know what else they could possibly do uh, so i could power my follow focus my own follow focus with a tilted nucleus nano uh, but manfrotto also have a focus motor let's show you this focus motor see if it comes in yep and amazingly this handle has a focus wheel right this is excellent news that's what you're probably thinking this is going to be straightforward so none of these ports control a focus motor Oddly enough, in here, if I go to the really rubbish menu, if I look carefully, I can see something at the top that says focus motor. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm doing something wrong. So I've put the focus motor in every single USB port, followed the instructions on everything there's actually no instructions where to plug the thing anyway so there's only four usb ports we'll try all four nothing works nothing collab collaborates the manfrotto focus motor does not work so i email manfrotto amazingly i got a reply and it's not compatible 
the Manfrotto focus motor is not compatible with the gimbal that has a focus thing on it. I'll let you figure that out. So at the moment, the MVG300XM has no focus motor. It's been out for over a year, so it's not coming. You know, normally you'd think to just uh, do a firmware update and the, the one on the website would work, but no, it's not compatible with any focus motor. So let's get to the negativities. Number one, focus motor does not work. So, okay, for me, that wasn't still the biggest issue because uh, I've got my own Nucleus Nano. Ideally, yeah, it, it all worked perfectly, but there's a workaround I can get around. Next up, where are we going? Let me just double check, I'm still recording. Yeah, uh, this is a Sony TX mic, absolutely brilliant. Always on auto, because I think it just does a great job. So where are we going next? So the focus motor doesn't work. Amazingly, their focus wheel controlled tilt and pan. I'm telling you right now, you're probably watching this video, if you use a pan and tilt, if you, if you use this little dial here to pan and tilt, I don't know what you're doing because there's a joystick right there for you to use. <laughs> it's much quicker. There's mosquitoes everywhere. Uh, so that is bizarre that this motor here, which you can dampen as well. So it's got some features on it. Only if you're watching the camera, does tilt, pan, whatever. It doesn't do anything else. You can't attach a focus motor to this gimbal. So that is absolutely a basic requirement these days. You know, and plus it's a Foyatech. It says Manfrotto on it, but it's made by Foyatech. We, we can forgive that. So we know Foyatech and their gimbals all have a motor, but Manfrotto have decided that this particular product, oh my God, my legs hurt. Manfrotto have decided this particular product, you ain't gonna get one. So that aside, fine. I got my own focus motor, right? What next? So I've mounted it on the crane and now, time to do some crane stuff, right? We're gonna test it out. You gotta remember this is designed to be mounted on multiple different accessories. Now, if you can see it, absolutely fine. It goes left and right. One annoyance is it doesn't have any dampening. So if you let go of the joystick, it just kind of stops suddenly. If you're making cinematic videos, not great, but I can get used to that. I can get used to releasing the joystick slowly. So there's a workaround there. Now I'm doing my crane shots and I need to go down. And what we find is we can't face the bloody thing down. If we can face it, it's going to be hard to see. It's getting dark. Oh, let me check if it's on auto ISO. Oh my God. What have I done? This is what happens when you try and do things in one take, right? It's, you mess everything up. So this is still on the fly. What you'll absolutely notice now is my exposure should be a bit better. And it's not minus five million that it was like, it's dark outside. Uh, so we are at ISO, what? 1000, 12800. Anyway, ISO is high. You'll get it. Like I said, I only got one take for this. I'm only doing it in one take. So this is how far it goes. And uh, if you can see it, it's going down at that angle. Now you think you're, uh, you're on a crane and you're doing shots inside a venue, you absolutely need to be pointing down. Some of these shots, you've got a whole crowd there, you wanna be maybe taking a shot of the crowd, just the heads going up and down, you've got tables to take pictures of, you've got a cake. Now, how is this gonna be sitting on a crane when it can't go all the way down? Uh, but thankfully, it can go all the way up. Now then originally I thought maybe there's a problem with how I've set it up, but it's a gimbal, right? There's only so many ways you can set it up. In fact, there's, there's two. One's this way and one's upside down. So that angle is pretty, pretty shit. Uh, we've got to be honest with this kind of product. When you're thinking of releasing a product that is meant to be mounting on other things, you better think of what it's going to mount on. One thing's probably going to be a car or a slider or something else. 100% you're going to be mounting it on a crane. So let's turn it off. In case you think something's hitting something, let's turn it off. No, there's, there's no restrictions. There should be no restrictions for it facing down. But there is. 
So that is straight away. Yes, family waving at me out the window thinking, what is it that idiot doing in the dark? Why couldn't you do it tomorrow? But it's going back tomorrow. So there's that. That is an instant return for me. If it doesn't face down, I'm not keeping it. Uh, so the focus motor I could have got around is very annoying. This is a professional product. It's priced at like £650. It's currently on sale, hence why I brought it. But something that's £650 doesn't have a focus motor. You can't make it face all the way down, not even with the focus motor. So on a jib, it becomes quite pointless, uh, in my opinion. So there's two things that are wrong with it straight away. We are buying gimbals in 2022, almost 2023. They can't release a firmware update to get the uh, focus motor working, but they'll sell you the focus motor. Uh, and if you look online, there's a couple of videos on YouTube uh, they don't mention the focus motor at all. The reason they don't mention it is because it doesn't work. But if you look in the comments, some people are saying, I've connected focus motor, it doesn't work, can you help me out? No one ever replies to them. I've emailed Manfrotto again, like, what is this amateur stuff, isn't it? You've got products that are over a year old that don't work with your own products. So I would totally avoid the Manfrotto 300XM. I can genuinely see it getting no support for a focus motor, I can't see them fixing this thing where it doesn't tilt all the way down. Like, oh, and just in case you think, maybe I'm doing something wrong. It's in PF mode. If I try in a different mode, PTF, now I can do stuff like FPV, I can roll it. There is another mode which is Inception. Let's do that. This menu is so unresponsive on this controller. It's just rubbish. You know, you know we're coming from a are at DGI product, so that's why. So inception mode. Look, it does face down. There is no reason it should be getting blocked. Now it's lost the plot. Uh, oh, the, mo the motors need cal calibrating again now. Look at that. How frustrating is that? So there's a lot wrong with this product. I'd imagine that's why it's on sale. I'd imagine that's why there's only about one video on YouTube about it because everyone's too busy trying to return it. But yeah, I'll be returning this and the focus mode. I'll probably be sticking with a Ronin RS2 for my future crane work, which I've got another setup. I will show you in another video. This is again, one take video. I ain't got time to uh, set everything up, uh, especially as it arrived an hour ago. And I've been told that once I process the return online, they're gonna pick it up in the morning. So now I've got to pack it away got family you know it's christmas time so that's a one take review recorded in however minutes that's gone in i'm just going to upload it straight to youtube you can see it any questions about 300xm please do ask in the comments uh, or gimbals generally but i do this for a living if they don't work i need to tell you why they don't work so other than that the idea and concept was almost perfect i reckon they could fix those problems in a firmware update but i also know how mount Frotto and companies like that work it's not actually Manfrotto, it's Foyatech that are in charge of the gimbal because it's written all over the place uh, and they don't fix anything. This has had like a couple of firmware updates. It's not had anything in a couple of months now. So I'd imagine that is it. This is what they've, they would class as a final product. Summary, let's give you a summary. It doesn't look down when on a crane. Uh, focus motor doesn't work. Other than that, it was almost perfect which isn't very perfect at all actually it's a long way from perfect <laughs> two of the main features don't work thank you for watching uh stay tuned for some more videos uh, i'll get on posted thank you